Hey guys, before starting, don't forget to check out this uh, uh, awesome 3D modeling channel on SolidWorks. Goes with the name of MacBus. The link is in the description below. So do have a look on this channel and don't forget to subscribe it. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to make this sizzle in Fusion 360. So the purpose of this video is to introduce you guys with the basics of surface. I'm going to make this, although it, this is a solid now. But uh, as you guys can see the history, I have used extrude and loft command in the surface workspace for completion of this uh, profile. So for that, just go to surface. So just go to surface, switch to next, uh, new workspace, uh, go to surface. Now I am uh, just switch on the origin plane. Now I am going to construct few plane on which we are going. We will be constructing different now uh, sketch. So first plane select this plane and first plane will be offset at a distance of minus 25 that will be the backward so make it 25 uh, make another plane at minus 25 like this and make another plane the third one at the distance of minus 40 like this and another one plane uh, this time the plane will be in the front and the distance will be 200 and you may press ok. Now I am going to start making the first sketch here, the second, then third, then fourth and the last on the five. The uh, same order in which the plane has been created. So first the origin plane. So here what I am going to do, I am going to draw a center rectangle. We we'll go to create, go to rectangle, go to center rectangle, select origin point. So the, it is asking the length as 40 mm. So give it 60. Press tab to switch. Uh, press tab to switch between the different dimension, like I am doing. So for the length, press 60 again. We will be making a square, and then now again for the next step, for the second one, we will be drawing the circle, and the dia of the circle will be 50 mm like this from the center and again for the third one again the circle and the circle will be concentric with the corner this one and this one again for the last sketch repeat the same space like we have did earlier coincidence with the rectangular edges now done what i'm going to do first of all the switch of the construction plane now. Huh? So I am going to create a loft. Select the loft. So start by selecting the first. So first one is this. The second one is this. The third one and the fourth one. So as you guys can see here, uh, there is two options. The first one is connected and the fourth profile is connected. So it is actually the tendency. Suppose that fourth profile. Suppose that if I want it to be more uh, is smooth here then I will just select the connect uh, uh, the fourth profile as direction ok something went wrong let me just undo the profile let me just repeat the step first one second this is third and this is fourth just make it direction so if I try to uh, you know just increase in you guys can see that it, the smoothness is increasing accordingly similarly this is the angle you guys can control nearly everything from here and similarly for the first profile also when you are satisfied with the design just press ok and click on extrude this line and you can extrude it up to a distance uh, any distance you want this will be uh, I'm not taking any uh, you know uh, the dimension so this is the handle is ready again bring back the construction remember the first plane we have created now we will be again making another rectangle but this time we will we won't be making a central rectangle rather we, we will we are making a normal rectangle the reason why we are not making the center point rectangle just because i don't want my sketch to be constrained with anything because uh, in the next part of the video, I will be moving this, this sketch in the 3D workspace. So if I make it co with coincidence with any particular point, then that moving will be restricted. So that's why press D for dimension. 
press D for dimension, give this a dimension of 120 and again give this a dimension of 5. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to make this profile symmetric. Press L and draw a line like this. Make this line construction. Select this line and switch on the construction. Now go to constraints, go to symmetric. I want this line and this line to be symmetric with this line. Once got symmetric but, but uh, I can still move it like uh, uh, vertically and uh, downwards and upwards so I'll keep it like that only yeah, there is no need to provide any dimension here why I will tell you uh, right now in the next part so let's make an, another lock between these two profiles so switch on the first sketch the rectangular one here go to create go to loft click on this profile and on this profile now <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm not going to make the profile here tangents so I'm going to uh, select the first profile as direction and you can just increase or decrease the tangency like you want uh, uh, however you want it so once you are satisfied just press ok now what I am going to do is just bring back the last sketch that you have created. So we have just used this sketch to create a loft. Press M for move and select um, the move object as uh, a sketch object. Now drag and select this sketch. Now if I just go to the front plane and try it moving downwards like here and here and giving it a some angle and if I just press ok you guys can see that it will the loft is still working uh, while our uh, the uh, sketch has just been translated now again if I just repeat the same step go to the front plane <coughs> I don't know why it's not moving let's try another yeah so uh, the moving of this sketch will define how your the blade of your sizzle will look like so for the completion let's say we are satisfied with the current design so what i'm going to do i'm going to fill this step so for that click on patch click on this edge and press ok similarly from here click on patch select this rectangle and ok now we, our body is closed but still this is in the surface workspace so to uh, convert it into, it into the solid uh, click on stitch stitch so we are going to stitch each and every surface so select this surface select this loft surface this surface this one and in the last this one so all you guys can see the green edges that means our signal is ok and press ok now if I just show you now we are we are having a solid body so this is how you uh, use loft in the uh, fusion 360 surfacing workspace so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel till then have a nice day